Oh, we've been keeping a secret from you guys. He's ready to find out what it is? Yes. Oh, both of you open it. Pull it out. Pull it out. What is it? What is it? House. <laughs> it's our new home. Guess what? We get to move in there next month. You know how that house sold? We bought it. Are you excited? This is your new home, Isaac. Thank you. This is going to be your kitchen and your lounge room. In the backyard. And the backyard where we can put your swings and things. And we can put your bikes here in the front. Are you excited? <laughs> yeah, I'll pop. Kaylee, that's going to be your new home. And which one's going to be your bedroom, Isaac? Uh, the kitchen? No, the kitchen. Nah. Where are you going to live? I'm in the toilet. You're going to live in the toilet? <laughs> oh, we'll live in oven. This is our new home. That's why we went and saw it again. And then we again put after the that. Offer on. That's why we went and saw it three times because we put an offer on and they accepted our offer but we tried to trick you guys and said that the house was sold but you didn't realise it was sold to us. So you like your surprise? Yes. So we're going to see this house one more time before we move in. Just so we can do an inspection to make sure it's perfect because they have renters in there so when they move out they've got to fix everything that they've made a mess in the house. If anything's broken, like um, the dishwasher was broken, they said it wasn't broken when they gave them to the renters. So they got to fix everything up like that. And then once it's all fixed, we go check the house to make sure it's perfect. And then if we're happy, we get to move in. Kaylee. So how many days left Kaylee. Matthew? Kaylee, come here. How 30. many days Matthew? 30 days. 30 days and we're moving in. So when you go back to school next week, it's only a couple more weeks and then you'll be going to school from your new home. Oh. Time to go to the dog park. Melina, leave your sister alone. Come on. You can play when you get inside.
Hey guys, so today is Monday the 2nd of November. Right now I should be sleeping in my bed waiting to hear from the solicitor and the real estate when we could pick up the keys for our new home that Matthew and I have just bought. Today was supposed to be our settlement date but instead it's been delayed a week so the 9th of November so next Monday. So um, yeah, so I'm going to work today. We found out last week that the tenants were refusing to move out. Apparently they couldn't find anything to rent. We had a look online there's about 84 properties up for rent around the same size as our home with similar size bedrooms and same like price range for rent but apparently they can't find anything i think they were hoping that um, investors would buy the property and take them on as tenants so they were refusing to move so um, they apparently took it to the tribunal and everything. So now they have to get out and they can do all the repairs. We've got to do our final inspection this week and then hopefully next Monday we can move in. So um, now I'm about to go to work. So I will talk to you later, bye. Hey guys, so I just finished work and got to my car. Now I've got to drive home, have a shower, pump out some milk, go pick up the kids, and then cook dinner, eat dinner, feed the dogs, and then shower the kids and get everything ready for tomorrow because I have work again and then do this all over again. So when Matthew comes home, either before or after dinner, Matthew will walk the dogs for me so I won't have to worry. Unless he's too tired or he's sore or he's got like a backache or something, I'll walk the dogs. If not, he can do that for me and I'll do everything else. So the last couple of weeks have been so stressful. I've even noticed how much milk I'm pumping. When I first went back to work, I was able to pump anywhere between 200 to 300 mils after work. And lately I've only been able to pump out anywhere between 100 to 150 mils. Most of the time it's about 120 mils that I can pump out. And if I've had a really stressful day, I've noticed I'm only able to pump out any anywhere between like 40 to 50 mils. So that's not really good that I've had to go on to lactose free milk for Caleb. I've tried oat milk and all the other different types of milk. He doesn't like it. The only one he'll drink is the lactose free milk. So sometimes I add a little bit of flavoring like chocolate or banana or strawberry for him. If not, I just leave the plain milk and then give him breast milk during the night. He still breastfeeds and wakes up about two or three times throughout the night. And then if I'm at home, if I've got a day off, because I only work part-time two or three days a week the other days he just feeds off me so I'm trying to wean him off slowly off the breast milk as well because I'm just not producing enough for him especially with work it's sometimes just so stressful I don't even have time for a break sometimes I miss out on my lunch or my morning tea sometimes even both breaks so I'm not even eating as much as I should be to be able to produce that much milk for him so apart from that, last week we had some issues with Melina. So instead of going to pick up the kids after work, I had to rush home because Matthew just got home like 10 or 15 minutes before me and he was going to walk the dogs before um, I go pick up the kids. So while I'm picking up the kids, he'll be walking the dogs. And what happened was when he brought Melina inside, she was yelping so loud and she wasn't able to move her back two legs. So we rushed her to the vets. We had to carry her and she was just yelping every time we moved her slightly. Even just carrying her into the car, she was yelping so much. Um, the vet thinks what happened to her in her spine, she's got the discs like that you're supposed to have. He reckons one of them has moved out of place and caused a bit of inflammation in her spine, causing pain down her legs so she wasn't able to move it. He ended up giving her an anti-inflammatory injection and then giving me some painkillers and also told me to finish up Kitana's painkillers because I did mention I had some of that left if not he was going to give her Valium just to relax her and help with her pain and everything but we didn't end up doing that and I just used the rest of Kitana's painkillers because she was on 100 milligrams Tramadol so I just gave those morning and night instead as my vet has recommended for her so by Wednesday so that happened on Monday so Wednesday Day last week she was starting to feel a little bit better she was able to walk but she wasn't allowed to go for walks if only um, if she had to go for a walk which sometimes she gets very anxious and um, 
very hyperactive when she doesn't go for walks and things and she does start acting up a lot so we're allowed to take her for like a 10 minute walk so after speaking to the vet on Wednesday he was happy with the 10 minute walks if we didn't have to walk her then don't walk her at all just let her rest but if she needed a walk then 10 minutes max so on Wednesday when we took her in she was walking a lot more but she wasn't jumping and on Monday and Tuesday she wasn't able to walk up and down downstairs so our house is a single story house the rental property and it's got three stairs from the front to go into the house and in the backyard three steps to get down off the little patio um, veranda bit in the back so she wasn't able to walk down those stairs to even go pee and poop or anything and to climb onto our couch she was yelping onto our bed she was yelping so we just had to carry her everywhere and when she was inside she was just on one of the dog beds just laying there and not moving because she was in so much pain so Monday and Tuesday she didn't go for walks by Wednesday she was going crazy because she hadn't gone for a walk in a couple of days so she's doing a lot better now she's able to jump um, onto the bed and stuff and um, move around like she normally is but she's still on painkillers so I'm not sure if that's just giving her the confidence that she's not in pain so she can do whatever she likes so I'm hoping she doesn't cause any more injuries so today is Monday the second so on Wednesday will be a week since we last saw the vets he just wants to see her again just to see how she's doing so I'll let you know later on in the week how she's doing so um, apart from that that's been going on work has been quite stressful as well um, you have getting extra patience and things like that and then missing breaks and things so overall it's been a stressful couple of weeks I'm just hoping from next week things will be better once we get the keys hopefully to a house and we can move in. So I will have two weeks of annual leave off from work so I won't be at work. Matthew's going to be taking Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday off and then he'll be going to work Thursday, Friday and then doing the same thing the following week. But I'll be off for two weeks so I'm looking forward to that. Anyways, I've got a lot to do when I get home, so I will talk to you later. I do have work tomorrow, so I'll see if I can vlog then. If not, I'll talk to you later on in the week. Bye!
Run, go!